Okay, so we're going to do some work on running the race. This is Bridges Math, fourth grade. And we're looking on some uh, elapsed time type stuff around races. So we have Anna starting a race at 930. And this is a long race. She ran for three hours and 47 minutes. What time did she finish her race? So we'll draw an open number line like it's asking us to. And you can kind of go about this however you want. So three hours, you could go one, two, three hours <clears throat> to figure that part out. Or you could just do three hours all together, especially with this time is okay. So let's do that. So if she went three hours, she's going to be then at 9.30 plus three hours is gonna put her at 12.30. So that's done. Now we need to do this 47 minutes, <clears throat> and I'm gonna break that down. So I'm gonna go half an hour, and if we go half an hour, then that's gonna take us to one o'clock. And then how much time do we have left? We have 47 minus 13, so there's 17 more minutes to go. So she's finishing this race at 117. And down here, we have Michael and Tyler running a half marathon. Michael finished in 1 hour 42 minutes and 13 seconds, and Tyler finished in 97 minutes and 49 seconds. And the first thing we need to do here is Tyler, he doesn't have hours yet, so we need to break apart 97 minutes into hours and minutes so we can compare. Um, or <clears throat> what we could also do is we could put um, Michael into just minutes to make it simpler if we wanted to. So if we didn't, Michael is just minutes. He's going to be at 60 plus 42. He's at 102 minutes. So we could then compare them like that. Or we could also split apart Tyler into one hour and 37 minutes. Right, because 97 splits into 60 and 37. For comparing them, though, I'm actually thinking that um, for part B, like this version might be better to compare the minutes and the seconds. So let's do that. So first of all, who is faster? Well, compare this time to this time, and then you'll know who was faster and how much faster was he. So we're going to start with Tyler's uh, 97 minutes and 49 seconds, and we're aiming for... Michael's 102 minutes and four and 13 seconds. So I'm going to start just by getting to an even number. So to go to 98 minutes even, how far do I need to go? 49 plus what would give me the 60? That's going to be 11 seconds. And then why don't I go two minutes to get me to 100 minutes, and then two more minutes will get me to 102 minutes. And now I only need to go a little bit longer, this much longer, to get to the final time of 102 minutes and 13 seconds. Okay, and then what you can do is add up two minutes plus two minutes plus 11 seconds plus whatever is here and then you'll know the difference. Okay, down here for Takumi, we uh, he ran his race in 450 seconds and we need to know how many minutes was his, uh, oh, his first mile, not his whole race, his first mile. So let's draw one of these lovely ratio tables. And we need to figure out uh, how many miles is 450 seconds. So I'd say one minute, is 60 seconds, right? And then let's just uh, double that. So 2 is 120, and let's double that again and see how we're going. Okay, if I double that again, it's going to be too much because that would put that at 480. So this time instead, <clears throat> why don't we add 4 minutes plus 2 minutes, and then I can add these two numbers, which is going to give me 6 minutes would be 360 seconds, 
We're getting closer and closer. Let's go seven more minutes, or seven minutes, so add another 60 to that. And I'm at 420 minutes, or rather 420 seconds. Okay, so to get to 450, I only need to go 30 more seconds, right? Um, so the answer is going to be a mixed number or a decimal. It's going to be 7, and what fraction of a minute is 30 seconds, and that will be your answer. Okay, and let's just keep moving. This is a little bit longer than normal, but here we go. Rectangle array with an area of 54, all possible dimensions of the array. Awesome. We're looking at factors here, right? So you'll always have 1 in 54, right? And then 54 is even, so we can have 2. And what is half of 54? Um, it's going to be 20. Half of 50 is 25. Half of 4 is 2. 27 would work for that. And I'm not going to finish this for you, but let's, let me just give you a hint. There are going to be a total of 8 factors. And one of them is going to be 3 and something and 6 and something. So if you uh, can figure those out on your own. That would be great. And now we're just rounding some numbers to finish up. Then a little bit of rounding practice. Just remember to look at the next number after these. So if, to round to the nearest 10, look at the number coming after the 10. To round to the nearest 100, what number is after it? To round to the nearest 1,000, look at the number coming after that. And then more rounding. And then here's the challenge to finish it up. So Linda's running, and her goal is to, to be um, at more than a kilometer, but less than 1.5 kilometers. And here, your key thing to think about is one kilometer is equal to how many meters? Hopefully you know that is 1,000 meters. And then 1.5 kilometers would be... 1,500 meters. So she needs three events that are going to put her between those two numbers. So you want more than 1,000, less than 1,500. So right away you know this is too much. She can't do that because that's too far. She's probably going to need to do this one. And then any other two races will get her there. Um, just make sure she doesn't go over 1,500. So that is that. A little bit longer than normal, but that was running the race, and thank you.